Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Richard today, and today I'm going to be installing this light right here. It is made by Home Decorations. It's a three light pendant, and there's your model number if you want to do it. And those are the bulbs which I got from Home Depot. You ready, Mika? Of course you're ready. If you look up, that is where it's going to go. It's going to hang down a little bit. It's going to be a nice little centerpiece. I don't want it to hang down too low, but I want it to look so that way when you're looking from outside, if it's turned on, it just looks really nice. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn off your light. If you want to, go and flick your breaker off. This will avoid from someone else walking in the room, flicking it on and electrocuting you. If you don't have to worry about this and you just are like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance, then let's go ahead. Set up your ladder and we're gonna take down the old light fixture. I'll show you some tips and some tricks for removing it. So how this will basically work is you can take down this fixture as a whole if you want, or you can take it apart. I'm going to take this one down as a whole because it's a very light one. Just be very careful. You need to, for me, for example, I'll support it right here and undo these two little screw nubbins, and then this will pop down. So again, these two little caps are all that are holding it up. So make sure that when you unscrew these, you're supporting it. Otherwise it'll just fall and hit the ground if you have everything on there. If you want to do it a little bit more carefully, of course, these can unscrew if your fixture is like this. There's so many fixtures, it's barely any point. I just wanted to show you this. And then if you have one of those little round dome ones like those ones, you one of those clips or two of those clips will be solid. One will squeeze away from it. You'll pull it out, pull the glass down. And then on the inside, you'll see two screws. You loosen them and you can twist it and it comes down. Once you get your fixture to this point, you can literally undo these one at a time and then grab the wire, pull it away and just merit it back on and do that with each of them. And then when we go to put our new one up, that's how we're going to replace it. So like I said, one at a time, unscrew, pull it off, put it back on the two right here, the black and the white are your to that you want to be most concerned about not to mess with too much with the green one's just a ground just make sure the ground doesn't touch any of them but if your brake is turned off you're fine so that plate that we left up there you have a choice you can either reuse it and move the screws to where they should be just like this one or just simply remove the old plate which is the easier option and then just bolt this one up just make sure that you put that square exactly how you want it up there otherwise it might not sit square like if you want it to sit square to the room make sure it's sitting square up there so that these two are just like that otherwise if it's not perfectly square then when you go to put that square piece up there it won't be square with the room and that's a whole lot of square literally all you're doing like i said is loosening off the old plate putting the new one on and then if you switch it out, just make sure if you have, for example, that ground on the plate, uh, make sure you put the ground loop back on the uh, ground, which is the green screw up there, uh, which goes to the green wire. Now from there, make sure you take this, test fit it, make sure your caps are going to sit, and then we're going to assemble the light. So like I said, just like your old light used to be held by those two little caps, make sure you come up here. Put this up and make sure when you sink it on and tighten those caps up it's enough to keep that flush against the ceiling next thing you need to figure out is your distance you want to go down they give you one bar to come down from there now if that's enough for you which i think it is for me because i want to keep the ceilings feeling grand all we're going to do is use the one bar if not they do include a chain so you can drop this even farther if you want to do a chain mount I'm not going to do that because that's not really the look I'm going for. But if you are, all you would do is hold the light up, put it off the chain, and then you can just bend one of these links over, put it through the link and then squeeze it back closed. So that way you have it. And then it, after you have your length of chain, remove the amount of chain that you don't want. But like I said, for me, we're just going to use this. The way I loosened this nub, I held that end with lines and pliers, stuck a rounded screwdriver through and twisted. If you do that, then it loosens up. 
twist your tips together like so. Make sure you keep note of this just in case those tags come off. The smooth wire is the hot wire and the neutral wire, which is your white wire, is going to be the ribbed cable just in case those tags come off. If you already know you like this light and you're remembering the hot and the neutral, what you're gonna do is you could actually technically, you'll need about that much wire coming out. Go ahead and cut the wire. Again, if you're not set on lighting height and stuff, do not cut until you're ready to make a decision. And of course, make sure you have a decision on if you're keeping the light or not, because if you cut this, there's no going back. All right, let's go ahead and slide this through the plate. And um, the other thing we've got to do is actually slide it through here after. Once you get to this point, put this one, then this one, then this one through, just like this. So the threads are aimed this way so we can screw it into there, but it'll screw in through the back side of the plate and you need this crush washer and the flat washer first. Once this is tightened up, go ahead and I leave at least six inches, if not more, and trim so that way, like I said, you have room to negotiate up there. And then all you'll do is you'll stuff it inside afterwards. So go ahead, trim the wires. Just remember which one's your hot wire. If not, rewind the video. Just make sure your white wire goes to the neutral wire, which is the one that if you feel has ribs on it, and the smooth one goes to the black wire. And then that copper one, which is like that, is your ground, so that goes to your green. Squeeze those morettes back on, make sure you get seven turns if you can on them, and they should tighten up. If you keep spinning it and it's loose, it's not in there. So make sure those tighten up. Once you tighten them up, then you can go ahead, and you'll slip your fixture up and put the two little nubbins on. Now, before you spread it out, make sure your fixture is sitting how you want it to, but that is looking pretty good to me. I might have to do a little bit of bending just to get it straight a little bit or adjust those nubs at the top, but that's to be expected since I'm not using the chain. And then after I get that, that'll be perfect. And then all you do is you twist these three out. But what I want to do before I do that is put the bulbs in it, turn it on, turn it off and make sure it works first. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. They look like they're doing exactly what they should. They shouldn't be too bright. And it's looking good. Next thing to do, spread it out. So all three of those move separately. So go ahead and spread them out. Ah, just like that. It looks pretty good. I wanna try and zoom in so I can show you. The wood looks awesome on it. I absolutely love how that turned out. Let's back up so we can try and show you. The problem is it's so bright in here from outside, but it's really good for the entryway. Wow. I actually really like that. I'm also gonna look at it from outside because I wanted to see how it looks. So you can sort of see it there, right from here. It's not the first thing you see. It's awesome. I might switch the old fixture that was there to the one in the back. I don't know yet. We'll see. But yeah, that's how you put this light together. Thanks again for watching. Press like if it helped you out and subscribe for more.